Hello, in this video I will show you how to remove inventory and equipment components from Dynamic Combat System. And this tutorial applies to Unreal Engine version 5.2 and above. So first let's open Combat Character. And in Equipment and Combat Events, let's remove all these events. Keeping just, just this. Uh, then let's search for function Use Item. And we can remove it as well. Okay, and now we can search for inventory references and let's remove them one by one. So for example, this function loads uh, ammo from inventory to gun. So we can remove this part of logic and only keep this one. Okay, now let's uh, go to next reference. And this piece of code is uh, responsible for removing arrow from inventory, so let's remove it as well. And in here, uh, let's keep this event, but remove its entire logic. So I'll select everything and uncheck this event and remove it. Okay, there aren't any errors. It means that we can safely remove inventory component. Now let's search for references of equipment component and let's do the same. So we remove every reference from this blueprint. Uh, here we can remove this whole block of events because they are all related to equipment component. And in this uh, ability events graph let's remove all those events and in here I will only remove uh, this piece of code keeping this this may be useful later on if we will try to implement changing abilities okay, and we can finally remove equipment component uh, upon compiling there are there aren't any errors it means that everything went well Okay, now that we have cleaned uh, combat character, uh, we also do, we also need to do a little cleanup for widgets. So let's open in-game widget blueprint, and in here we need to remove inventory, equipment, active slots, equipment slots, and we will also need to modify Ganamo data widget. So let's open it, and in here we need to remove this piece of logic because it's responsible for getting. Uh, num of ammo from inventory but since we are not using inventory we can assume that player will have infinite amount of ammo and we also need to remove this uh, events uh, which binds uh, to equipment and inv inventory components and let's also remove variables so there aren't any references left to either equipment or inventory components Okay, now that we have uh, removed inventory and equipment widgets, when we get back to combat character blueprint, we may get these errors because we can't access these uh, variables anymore. So we should remove those events. And now when we play the game, uh, we can uh, do an armed combat, but we have no way to equip any items. So that's the next step we should uh, take care of. And to do that, we have do those two events, get main hand and get off hand item. And it's basically get right and left hand items. And it uses displayed item, which is simply visualization of items. So for example, we have this um, displayed item of steel sword, and it's simply static mesh of, swor of sword. And if we look at base class of displayed item, uh, it has logic for attachment, for getting uh, components to collide with. So for example, when we attack as a player with sword, it knows to use this static mesh to detect collision. And it's not related to equipment component in any way. It doesn't have any references, so you're free to use it. Um, so to do that, we should add two variables to player, which would be offhand. displayed item and let's also create another variable for main hand ok 
Okay, and let's return it here. Uh, I will also create one function to update currently equipped uh, displayed item by player. So that, that would be update displayed item. And it would take two parameters. One would be displayed item pointer. And it's important to set it, uh, to pass it by reference. And the next one would be item class. So base displayed item. But this is like new item class. Okay, and when we want to update displayed item, the first thing to do is to remove previous item that was equipped in that pointer. So if it's valid, I will destroy actor. And then if given class was valid, then let's spawn this actor. Okay, we can leave uh, transfer empty like this because it will be uh, moved to player by attaching it. It's only important to set up owner. So in this case, I will set it to self, which means to use this player blueprint as owner of this item. And let's also change collision handling to always spawn. Okay, and now one thing we need to do is to attach uh, this item and it has it automatically, displayed item automatically knows how to attach it. So it's only a matter of calling this, this function. And after that, we also need to update this pointer. So let's set it by reference. Okay. And now um, let's move to event graph. And when I press one on the keyboard, I want to equip uh, steel, uh, steel sword and, and shield to my uh, player character. So let's say, let's call this function twice. And in first case, that would be uh, steel sword. And the second item would be my shield. Okay, and for steel sword, I want to use my main hand pointer. And for left hand, I want to use off hand. And now if I press one on my keyboard, as you can see, I have uh, both items equipped properly, but my character still doesn't know it has those item equipped. So we need to update other components to make it aware and use proper combat style. Okay, to make player aware of what items uh, it's using and what combat style he should be actually using, we need to update combat components data. And uh, there we have a few functions. First one would be combat style. And in this case, um, we're using Mel armed one-handed weapon with shield so i will select this tag and let's also change weapon type to sword this may be used by animation blueprint to differentiate uh, using different animations based on uh, weapon type that we have and now if i compile and i press one okay and I have equipped sword and shield. My player is no longer using hands to attack. Instead, it uses uh, proper animations, also for blocking. And in this way, we can set up other combat styles. For example, when I press two on my keyboard, I will pretty much copy everything and just change a few parameters. So let's say if I press two, I want to have equipped Elven Bow. I don't want to have anything equipped in my offhand, so I'll leave it empty. As combat style, I will use ranged archery. 
my weapon type would be bow and I can also update projector class and that will be used by this bow so in this case uh, let's say I'll use arrow just basic arrow okay now if I press 2 as you can see my character is getting bow and I can shoot arrows if I press 1 I have my sword and shield and I can switch between them and we can use the same way for spells so let's do it if I press 3 let's equip a fire spell displayed item and, and for example this, this displayed item is just a particle effect that will be attached to a handle of the player when he's using spells I don't want to have anything in offhand. Combat style in this case would be magic, but without shields, so I'll just select magic. And weapon type would be spell. And additionally, we need to update ability component uh, to know which spell it should use. So we have the function update set ability. And in here, we can set it, for example, to fireball. So there is ability ability player fireball. And now if I press free, I'm using uh, combat style of magic. And I'm using fireball ability. I can switch it to inferno or anything. Basically that's that's the function you want to use to change abilities used by player. Okay, so now let's also set up uh, guns data. So let me copy everything. Uh, we ain't gonna need this. So let's also change displayed item to rifle. Nothing in left hand. Combat style would be uh, ranged gun. Let's say ri rifle weapon time and we additionally need to update gun data and gun data is just this tract which holds a lot of informations about gun for example previously uh, this data was stored in rifle item so as you can see it has this gun data we can copy everything let's paste it here Okay, now if I test, if I press 4, I have my gun equipped. Okay, now that we have set up player, we need to do similar process on AI side. So let's open base AI. Or actually, before doing that, let's open combat component blueprint. And here we need to do minor tweak. Uh, before calling debug let's uh, call two events um, to propagate this uh, event initially and you can uh, get them by dragging this event and calling them and another one would be in uh, baseball here you need to remove this variable it's some leftover it's not used anywhere so simply remove it and that's it now let's go back to base AI and here uh, let's search for all references to equipment component AI doesn't use inventory component at all so it doesn't have it and similarly to player Let's remove an already promoted to variables. Okay, and let's now let's remove uh, all the references one by one. 
So here we also remove all those events, leaving only combat component related events. Uh, let's try again to search references. Okay, there aren't, there aren't any other left, so let's remove equipment component. Now I will copy the function update displayed item to AI. And here in back and play, let's do a logic to spawn uh, initial items to AI. So let's call this function twice. One would be for main hand and one for left hand. And let's create two more variables, which would be default main hand item. And default offhand item. So now in subclasses of AI, you can decide what items will be spawned by default for AI. Uh, let's also go to shorter AI, because there is one more uh, usage of equipment component. And similarly, as in player, let's remove everything except this event. Okay, and now we can test the AI. So for example, if I open Warrior AI, let's set up his starting items to Steel Sword and Shield. And in Combat Component, you can change his combat style. So in this case, it would be uh, one-handed weapon with shield. So you don't have to call it manually. You can change it here. Uh, it also uses weapon type sword. You can also change whether he has arrows or ammo, but in this case, it doesn't matter because it's uh, he doesn't use it. And now if I drag and drop him, As you can see, he works just fine. And we need to do it for other AIs, for example, set up um, Elven Bow for Archer AI, Rifle for uh, Shooter AI. Okay, and that's pretty much everything you had to do to make it work. But if you don't want to use displayed items at all, then what you need to do is to replace occurrences of these uh, events. So if, for example, if I search for references of main hand uh, displayed items, uh, it's being used in a couple of places. So for example, in projectile getting, for getting projectile spawn location. So you would have to replace it with your own logic. Also for getting uh, colliding components when we attack. For example, it gets a uh, sword static mesh uh, when we swing a sword, so we'd have to replace it as well. And in uh, basically in, in changing uh, attachment of item, we can also search for references globally because it's used in a couple of other places, also in AI in similar cases, but uh, also in few uh, animation notifiers like update hand arrow or playing montages on weapon. Okay, now that we no longer use equipment and inventory component, we can get rid of all the unnecessary files if you want to keep it clean. So I'll show you what to remove. First, let's start with widgets. There is a folder called equipment and we can remove everything from here along with pickup actor. Okay, now let's go to blueprints components and inventory here let's remove inventory component let's force delete we will get rid of all these files uh, later on uh, when we try to remove equipment component it shows that it's still being used by some of the ai but that's just some hidden references if we recompile the files and uh, resave them it should be gone So now if I try to remove it, it no longer shows that it's being used in AI. So let's just force delete. Let's open save game. And since we no longer use equipment or inventory, we need to get rid of all those 
uh, calls. Let's also remove these variables. So right now save game will actually only save <laughs> stats of the player. So it's not really useful, you can get rid of all of it. Uh, let's keep removing uh, the stuff. So let's go open items and we don't want to use displayed items because they're not uh, related to equipment at all and we can make use of them as I showed you before. Uh, but we know we, we don't need object items so let's remove all of it. Okay, now let's go back to inventory folder under components and uh, let's keep removing the structs. And while, while removing uh, the files, the structs, sometimes Unreal Engine may crash, but uh, don't worry about it, just reopen and keep removing. But before you start removing anything, just make sure to make a backup because uh, something may go wrong. Okay, this uh, modified struct must stay because it's being also used by Stats Manager. But we can get rid of uh, those enums as well. Okay, now let's open um, animation notifies and here we have equipment. So you can uh, remove some of them like use item. Okay, one sec. Yeah, I think uh, those two anime notifiers should stay because they're still being used. Um, let's also open uh, ability component and here we have some abilities related to equipment which is summoning items. So let's remove them. Okay, let's also open interfaces and here we have this folder called items. We can get rid of all of them. Okay, and I think that's pretty much it. There may be some leftovers, but I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, actually I think that's, that's all we had to remove. So at this point we have uh, this is without inventory and component with uh, using just displayed items. Uh, so thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>